jolly and carefree. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, you. You talking to me? Yeah, stare. jerk. I, I saw you making eyes at my unit. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I oughta paste you one right on the- Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cube ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, uh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes him. Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know you don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, may maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here.
Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish, Betsy. Maybe you know, dear, that I'm I don't blue. care. Danny, you! So about those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this, uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist when not one but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. <laughs> Because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. Yes? I like you. <laughs> You're my new best friend. <laughs> See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Danny. You. So about that secret. I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. <laughs> but listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> hey, bartender. What'll it be? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Peps, uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? 
<clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, Dame? No way. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the Wall of Honor. Know what I mean? So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. Got any tips for getting Parker in the right frame of mind? Well, I ain't no Carl Jung, but uh, I've noticed that when he's boozing it up like he is tonight, Danny Boy's particularly receptive to the lyrical stylings of Miss Trotter. Huh? Yeah, some guys are inspired by great works of art, others get their ideas from lounge singers. Go figure. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. You in? Twenty-one. This isn't my game. You in? Seven. <sighs> you in? Something tells me black's gonna hit. Twenty three. Yeah. Testing, testing, sibilance, sibilance. Hey, quit playing with my equipment. Sorry. Besides, hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? I saw him. Who? My grandpa on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. 
When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Doc, Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Ah! I know. Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. Then old Biff will never- Paradox City, got it. I talked to your younger self about Frankenstein. He's really looking forward to it. Oh, I was never worried about that. I wouldn't miss that movie for the world. This whole ticket isn't about to disappear. I sort of envy me seeing it for the first time. Should we be worried about your younger self and Ender Strickland? That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum, but I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Why are Tannins always such jerks, anyway? Uh, okay. Be careful, my... Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Hey! Take a hike, Squirt. About that secret. Secret? Who cares about secrets when we're having so much fun? See you later, Danny. I'll be here. about that secret oh yeah my secret well you're my pal so I can tell you but don't let it get out I've been working for Tannen for over a month now what it's true 
All I gotta do is look the other way. While evidence is getting destroyed, or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? Yes, you're a rat. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? Just whisper, whisper, whisper. What about Trixie Trotter? She'd like to leave Kid, but she knows what would happen if she tried. Oh, uh, poor Kid. Stuck with a big thug like that. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Danny, you! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't care. You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I gotta let him go. You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? Maybe. What are you gonna do about it? Chicken. That's it. You're toast. <clears throat> Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Hey, kid. What is it, squirt? What's that wall of fame all about? That, my tiny friend, is where I pay tribute to fallen foes. Cut short in the prime of life before I had a chance to cut it short myself. They're the guys you've whacked. Whacked? Uh, rubbed out. Not in any legally actionable sense, no. Whacked. 
<laughs> I like that. That's a nice place you got here. Ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. How long have you and Trixie been going out? You mean knocking boots? Oh, about a year now. That's a long time. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model, but then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? Free nightclub entertainment! <laughs> it's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento were starting to get worried. With all due respect, the boys down in Sacramento can bite me. When that creepy Sagan guy burned down my speakeasy, did the Sacramento boys lift a finger to help me back on my feet? No. Well... And when that weasel accountant McFly went and blabbed to the feds, did the Sacramento boys help me get rid of the evidence? No. But... I had to put three more cops on my payroll to pull that one off. Okay, but... But nothing. When you get back to Sacramento, you let J.J. Valenti know that Kid Tannen expects a little more respect for his efforts in the future. Understand? No problem, kid. See ya, kid. Yeah, whatever. Edna! What? Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink into a fire. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. It's Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined 
techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. 